is voodoo trick in history. And that's his prerogative. We think New Jersey just dodged a viral buffet. Wow. Okay. Um, switching topics. The Star Tribune, which is a different newspaper, says the Limestone Comedy Festival proves you don't need big audiences for big laughs, just good comics. Dina Hasim, one of the sharper writers in the business, says the Star Tribune, defended her fascination with niche porn. Some of the fans at her show in the back room of a bar didn't quite know how to react to a different bit about making Mecca more attractive to visitors. And she joked, I'm a Muslim woman. It's racist if you don't laugh. The Star Tribune says, out of vogue are jokes about Donald Trump, in vogue, pandemic jokes. Sabine Sadiq reflected on having to move back in with her parents. Emil Joachim compared going to a restaurant these days to sneaking into a gay bar in the 1930s. Natalie McGill wondered how store employees rationalize pushing napkins as a proper substitute for toilet paper. David Rodriguez gave himself a poor grade on homeschooling his kids. Bobcat Goldthwaite. Put on your seatbelts, man. Appeared ready to mourn the loss of radio hosts who had railed against vaccines and subsequently died from the coronavirus. I'm just going to read this next paragraph. Quote, it makes me feel really bad, unquote, he said, waiting a beat, that I didn't get to see them die. If you don't think science is real, you don't get to go to the big science building. Jackie Cation, who opened the fest, said that she used part of the quarantine time in learning how to make yogurt and joked, I found out quickly that I don't eat a lot of yogurt. Festivals are back, baby. The High Plains Comedy Festival is this weekend. Josh Blue is your headliner. Also this weekend in San Antonio is the Ha Comedy Festival. The star-studded lineup includes Danny Trejo, Carlos Santos, Jessica Keenan, Steve Trevino, Lisa Alvarado, Paul Rodriguez, and Emilio Rivera. The founders say the mandate of our company is to empower and showcase the Latino community creative community. Hollywood is 2% Latino inclusion. We are proud to say we have a 92% Latino rate of inclusion. Show starts tonight at 6, Comedy Comadres 2020, 7 o'clock, Fresh Faces 2021. Yeah, I don't know what the 2020 is either. 8 and 10 o'clock, the Latino Comedy Showcase. And at midnight, after midnight, show started tomorrow at 4 and on Sunday at 3. That is the Ha Comedy Festival, if you are in San Antonio. All right, Jim Brewer impression. Tell the people what we got tomorrow. <laughs> Great. I know a lot of times Johnny Mac hands in filler on the weekend, but I'm telling you, tomorrow he's got stories about Chappelle, Ricky Gervais, Richard Pryor, sick. More John Stewart stuff. He's probably got leftovers from today. Norm MacDonald, of course. And he wants me to welcome the new people. Welcome, new people. Thank you for listening. You can follow this show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your shows. Instagram at Daily Comedy News. Buymeacoffee.com slash Daily Comedy News. yippee ki Mr. Falcon, thank you once again. And like I said, I, I'm open with you guys. I pre-tape the weekends a lot of the times. I try and make every episode of Weekly Comedy Thing awesome, like anything you do. Some are more awesome than others. But this weekend in particular is not filler. I've got, just got so much to tell you about. Again, tomorrow, Chappelle, Gervais, Pryor, John Stewart, and Norm MacDonald. So definitely check it out. Follow the show wherever you get it. Hope you enjoyed today. I thought today was a lot of fun from behind the microphone. See you tomorrow.